One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. James here from Denali World. Today we're gonna to be talking about laser safety. It's one of the most prominent questions that we're asked here at Denali World is what are we doing to protect the operators as long with the people around the operators during your everyday applications. We're gonna be showing you today our remote cleaning sensor that is proprietary to our system. We also will be showcasing our new Denali Weld laser safe welding helmet with a safety interlock that attaches to the rear of the machine that if the helmet is inverted, laser will turn off. Once the hood is flipped down, laser will be able to emit again. We're also going to, at the end of this video, show a real life destruction test of our standard Denali Weld laser safe welding helmet at different wattages of laser power and what it actually does to the helmet itself. What you're seeing here is our new Denali Weld laser safe welding helmet. This helmet still has your standard ADF, but this time, our filter starts at a shade two and still maxes out at a shade 13 for all your welding needs. In addition to that, it does have a carbon fiber shell, which is great for laser mitigation, uh, reflects laser from any reflection back off of itself. It also ties back into your machine in the safety door interlock. And what that does, is it allows the laser to know when the helmet is on and in the welding position. So in the vertical position, laser will not be on and laser will not emit. Once the hood is flipped down into the welding position, the laser will emit and you can continue with your welding, seam cleaning, or remote cleaning needs. All right, what I'm showing you now, you'll notice something different attached to the front of our torch. This is our proprietary remote cleaning sensor. And what this sensor does is it actually has a set distance inside of the sensor that when the laser goes past that distance, it will automatically shut the laser down. It's not just good for the operator, it is great for anybody that could be around an operator, draw their attention away so that there's no misfire of the laser. So one of the most important safety features that's on a Denali Weld machine is the use of a conductive clip. What that conductive clip does is it allows the welder to know that there's conductivity between the welding torch, your filler metal, and the welding table to be able to emit laser. As you can see, there's one green light indication here, no conductive clip on the table, it is still just a solid green light. If I hook up my conductive clip, put my torch and rust it on the table, now you're seeing a yellow orange light. That means that the laser will be allowed to emit. As seen, conductive clip taken off, trying to weld, no laser. Conductive clip being put on, laser will emit and allow you to weld. So just another thing that we've done to take safety to the next level, this is our Denali Weld Laser Safe Welding Jacket. It's an FR exterior with a silver mesh interior. And what that silver mesh does is it helps protect against any radiation, not just from the laser welder, but from any other high powered equipment that's in the area. Now let's get into the fun. Let's see what this helmet can withstand. I know this is what you've all been waiting for. Today we're gonna test our laser safe welding helmet. First, we're gonna have the torch in remote cleaning mode just for the safety precautions and the testing. Don't try to do this at home in your shop. Exterior is your protective glass and your ADF. We're gonna shoot that for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna test our OD6 Plus laser safe glass that's rated to 1070 nanometers for an additional 10 seconds. And let's see the results. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Laser safe glass, nothing was penetrated through.
Now on to the laser safe glass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see it did deform the outside of the glass. On the interior, it is bubbled through. There is zero penetration on the inside of the glass. So as you can see here, the laser did penetrate our outside cover lens, which is to be expected. That is not laser safe glass. Inside of that is where your ADF is. Again, it is not laser safe. When I flip open to the laser safe glass, you'll see that it did burn some of the glass. However, the laser safe glass did do its job by not allowing any laser penetration to the operator. All right, lastly is our Denali Weld workstation. It's equipped with OD6 Plus laser safe glass, which you can see to my side. Allows it for viewers to be able to see into the enclosure and be able to actually watch some laser welding without being in any danger. It also has a magnetic safety door interlock so that if the door is to open while there's any welding, remote cleaning, or seam cleaning taking place, the laser will automatically shut down and not allow any more laser to emit. If you have any more questions on safety, feel free to reach out to us, www.denaliweld.com. Make sure you follow us on YouTube. We're also gonna be back with Weldmonger and Jody within the next couple of weeks working on some more content for you. Again, if you have any questions, reach out, we're here to help.